hello friends in today's video I'm going to discuss something about programming and in the programming I'm particularly talking about the Delta brand and in that brand I'm using WPL soft in order to program PLC of Delta and WPL soft version 2.5 that's something which I'm using and here you can see this is the software and if you particularly click on help then you can get the information about Delta version which I'm using 2.5 so you can get this version from the link uh, which is mentioned below there even though if you don't get this then you can also watch my in informational video which is already been placed in description box also at the i button from there you can get the information and get this software in your pc so firstly i'm going to create a new project with this software and here i have to select my model number model type and particularly plc vfdtp that's that's what we can program from this software and then right now I'm selecting my model type PLC SSV and right now I'm using the model which is SS2 for which I'm creating the program I can rename project title test and now okay so <clears throat> now then the project is created and our ID is IED is been opened okay so particularly in this video I'm going to talk about the EPS application programming interface which is mentioned here and I'm going to take the <coughs> explain i'm going to explain these apis one by one and i'm also going to create a series of video in which i would be describing these apis one by one so that we can have the information how we can use the api in order to program something and some application in a better way or you can say in functional way and in modular way and in segregated way so let's jump on first api api set api set as it is indicates set is uh, api which is used in order to turn on or set a relay coil once set instruction is executed associated relay on until a reset instruction is encountered or you can say arrange so if i double click on set then you can get the information more information about this application programming interface number zero and name is set as you see action is latch latching on so if i want to turn on something even from the condition from which it is on is not on then we can use this instruction and if i want to turn off something from the condition which is off which i want to off is off then we can use the reset instruction so for more help we can go more deeper and here you can get the explanation and you can also get the knowledge for which kind of thing this set or this api can be used so mostly for output for memories for spatial release this output can be used so let's put ok and close it and if I take the example of reset it's same way or you can say vice versa reset instruction is used to turn off or reset a relay coil that was previously set by set I am going to also explain it with example but for now I just want to go with more theoretical what has been written here so you can see the clear the contact or the register so from some condition I can clear the context and maybe memories maybe output and maybe spatial release okay so if I want to go more deeper we can click on re <coughs> on we can click on help and here you can get the information what you can reset you can reset coil contacts and also timer and if you want to reset some data register so you can do it so that's a range what we can reset okay so let's go to another api called mc mc stand for master control so this is something from where master control is started so this is a api which we use to 
control some particular section of program so here you can get the information which number and which api so you can understand connect the common series and connection contacts so this is something which we use in order to do and you can get the more information here and you can get more <clears throat> information and explanation here I will I will use the same explanation and I will explain it while logic also so it's done you can close it and MCR again master control reset so the once if it is master control is started then it is also required a reset at what place it's supposed to reset so you can see disconnect that's that's something which connect some part of logic from uh, in main logic and this is disconnect some part this, this is used in order to disconnect that part of logic to from main logic so i will take the example so that you can have the better understanding what why we are using this kind of APIs and what is the application? So here you can see n. So nesting layer, how many layers? It's about you can say if I take the example of manual here, you also can uh, get the information. MC is something a master control start instruction, and MCR is something reset instruction. And nesting can be done from zero to n seven. So seven layer is. <coughs> is something which we can program in this kind of controller okay let's take the example so that it can be explained better to you and we can develop more better understanding so if I take the example x0 that's supposed to be input and if I take the example of y0 that's supposed to be output so let's use this rung to add some more runs So now I will take this one, two, three, four, five, and then six. So now, yeah, I will put this set. set y0 okay and then I will put reset reset y0 okay so this is something which we programmed and yeah that's I have to also do renaming of output Y3, Y4, Y5. Okay, so yeah, I want to add one more condition for nesting, or sorry, you can say MC and MCR. I have to overwrite. No, insert. So I will use memory M0 for nesting. MC M0. So I will nest this part of logic. And here I will. MCR reset MCR and reset the nesting okay so I have added a layer in which firstly I have to compile this code and if it is compiled you can see it's compiled so you can see our logic is having 0 2 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 rung but this 8 and 10 rung would not be executed if our MC or master control is not started. So you can say this part of 8 and 10, 10 rung 
this part of logic is excluded from our main logic until this condition is met that's what i want to explain in my last explanation so firstly we have to load this code in plc and then uh, right now i'm using simulator and now i have to put this start yes run let's do it if i will set this on on so even though this condition is off our output supposed to be on so if i want to turn this off then i have to turn this on so once it's on then our output is which is we set it here it would be reset from this condition so that's something which i talked about set and reset and if i take this example oh sorry if i want to execute this part of logic it will not be executing because of this master control condition now if i want to execute this yeah this would be executing so yeah so every part of the logic would be executing if i click this on but if i turn this off then this part which comes under this nesting would not be executing any longer so that's the reason <clears throat> uh, sorry that's that's the way we can use this mc and mcr instruction in order to segregate or exclude or include some part of logic in from our main part of logic so that's how we can use it and how you, i hope you like this video and if you like this video please like share and subscribe our channel so that we can keep posting and of course i'm creating the series so i will try to explain and add all these apis in very uh you can say easier manner so that you can explain and you can also understand what's happening and then you can use that in your programming so that your programming could be best or modular or you can say easy to resolve the issues okay friends thanks thanks for watching and please like share and subscribe